Right, ladies and gentlemen, part two of comparative and superlatives, a flip classroom resource. Part two, look, there it says there. Right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Number seven, she is better than me and not worse than me. Does that make sense? Right, here we go. So she is. It is leaked. So Ellie, she is. All right, so we're happy with Ellie, meaning a she is. We have better in the last video. Now, better than is meilleur. Now, look at this one here because we're referring to someone who's female and on E. So, meilleur que. So, here we have it. Like that. Add on E and then que. And then me is moi. And E. Not. Pa. So, and not. Pa. Now, Worse is pire, P-I-R-E, and that is both for masculine and feminine, all right? So have a good look at it. Only add on S for plural. So pire, so elle est meilleure que moi et pas pire que moi. Nice and easy one. And there we have the first one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, number eight. English is more useful than maths. Don't tell the maths teachers that. So, English. Longly. So, longly. Okay, naturellement. Mesdames, messieurs. So, longly. Et. Right, now, more useful. So, utile is useful. Now, it's got an E on the end already, so it's going to stay the same whether the object's masculine, feminine, or whatever. So, more, okay, is plus, okay, comme ça, plus utile. So we got uh, plus, and then here, utile, mesdames, messieurs. And then we have than, que les maths. Comme ça. L'anglais est plus utile que les maths. All right, that is number eight, ladies and gents. Number nine, he says to me that Pierre is the tallest. So, here we go. Il me dit. He to me says, literally. Il me dit que. All right. So, we have that there. So, let's just get that uh, out of the way. Il me dit que. To look at the focus bar up here. Okay, make sure you take it in properly. Pierre A is now the tallest suddenly we are going from the comparative to superlatives the most the best the greatest the smallest the biggest all that kind of thing yeah so now we all know that uh, tall is grand okay also translated as big okay now the, the next thing that we need in front of it is more plus now, to say the tallest, okay, Pierre here is masculine. So, we have the word le in front of it. Le plus grand. Okay, literally, the more tall, the tallest. And that's how we work out the superlative, more or less. So, look at that, ladies and gents. That is a fantastic example there. All right, number 10. I believe that Jenny is the smallest. So... Je crois que. So, all right, so we got je, now crois, and then the, uh, que even, okay, Jenny, a. Now, the smallest, the less, two ways of doing this in a sense, okay, um, and we talked about this before. Now, the, the, the smallest we could have literally, okay, so small is petit. Let's have a look at that one first of all. More small, you then work that out. That becomes smaller. And then to make it the smallest, we then need to put, because Jenny is feminine, we need to put la and not le in front of plus. So la plus petit. Still not correct, because obviously Jenny being feminine, you need to add on an E. So that is one possibility that you've got there. So je crois que Jenny est la plus petite. Okay, put, may as well put both in actually. So la 
plus. And then here we got la plus petite. Okay, one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is by saying the smallest as in the least big. The less big? Does that make sense? I don't know. Does that make sense? So, big, grand. Okay, what's less? Oh, yes. Moi. So, okay, so that means the less big. And the less biggest, it's good English, isn't it? Is that la moins grande add on an e. So that is the second way of implying the smallest. Yeah? Do you agree with me? I hope so. I know what I'm talking about. What do you think? Hey, I might be sort of stringing you along here. Right, okay, so je crois que je n'y ai la plus petite. Um, yeah, one way of doing it, or la plus, la, la moins grande. Uh, someone's going to point out something that uh, I'm not aware of because I'm really tired. That you can't do that. I don't know. Who knows? Right, number 11. They say to me that. So we got they this time. Il. M. They're from D's. E N T. So E N T because it's they. All right. Okay, so il me dis que. They say to me that. Let's just get that in there. Il me dis que. So il me dis que. All right. Pierre A. So Pierre A is. So the smallest. We've got the same sort of uh, issue here. So the smallest. We could either have. Um, so small. Remember, it is petit. Okay, smaller will be plus petit. The smallest. We're talking about masculine because of Pierre. Le plus petit. So we could do it that way. All right. Or you could say the opposite of the least big, if that makes sense. The least biggest. It sounds really clumsy putting that way. So let's so put moi and then grand. I hope this makes sense. Just two ways of doing it, I think. Okay, implying. Okay. The more grand. Comme ça, mesdames, monsieur. Let's see if I can tidy up by putting it down there. Does it make it any better? No, it doesn't. Okay. No, I don't want that to happen. All right, okay. We just have to deal with that. I hope you can read it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this one out because it's making it difficult perhaps for you guys to read it okay i've got a bright idea look how clever is this look yeah look like that yeah if i undo it then we we'll get back to there yeah so you got that as an alternative to that yeah right number 12 ladies and gents the fastest animals are the biggest problem now this this is a really interesting one i, I like this one okay now the way you deal with this time you've got the actual fastest or the best in front of the noun. The noun in this case is animals, yeah? The animals. Yeah, you all agree with that. In French, okay, the adjective comes after in most cases, but not all. And we'll find out that very soon. So animals is les animaux. So you have that first of all, the animals. Okay, and then you say the fastest, the animals that are the fastest. So fast is rapide. Yeah? Now because it's plural animal we've got to add on an s all right now you you literally say okay you have to have the, the there's uh, there as well so les animaux les something rapide so the fastest you have to have more to make it into the most fast so les animaux les plus rapide okay so the animals the fastest literally the more rapide rapid Okay, so that's what we need down here, first of all. So you go, les animaux. Okay. Um, les plus rapides. So just bear that in mind, that you've got here. That is the adjective, the describing word. Okay, and this is giving more information. You're not just saying that the animals are quick or fast. Okay, this would mean quicker, and this means quickest or fastest when you put les in there all right okay so les animaux les plus rapides are son now i've deliberately picked the biggest problem for a reason okay 
now because it, I'm, it's going to sound as though I'm contradicting myself. Now, uh, first of all, let's just work out problem is le problème, like that. Yeah. So that is what we need first of all. Now, um, the biggest now big grand is one of these adjectives that goes in front of the noun. Problem, that word there is the noun. So grand doesn't go over after here. It goes in front of the noun. Okay, and it's this here. Le, okay, le grand problème. That by itself would just simply mean the big problem. We want to say the biggest problem. So we then need uh, plus like that. Yeah, and that's how you calculate the biggest problem. Okay, so have a good look at that. So le, le uh, plus grand, and then problem. Okay, it's just a metal work it out that way. And there we have our answer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, les animaux les plus rapides sont le plus grand problème. The fastest animals are the biggest problem. Okay, merci et au revoir, mesdames et messieurs. Et nous avons fini.